the average for this data set could be 6, 7 or 8. That's because there are three different measures of average. In this video, we're going to look at how to find the median. We have Bob, our runner, who has run these times. Bob has a race coming up and he wants to know his average time. We're going to work out the median for him. To find the median, we rearrange the times into ascending order, so smallest on the left and biggest on the right. The median is the middle value in the set, so we meet at 45. Because we have an even number of values, 14, we end up with two values in the middle. So the median is halfway between these two values. Here it's easy because they're both 45. But say we had met in the middle at 45 and 47, then halfway between those is 46. You add them up and divide by two. Or if we'd met in the middle at 44 and 51, then halfway between those is 47 and a half. We can have decimal median values, no problem. If there are an odd number of values, then you will always end up with an exact median, simply by finding the middle number. You just need to remember median middle. Bob's friend is also running the race. Whose median is faster? Pause the video and work it out. Did you get 44? Bob's friend has a faster median. Let's finish off with a question for you to practice. According to the median, who earned more? Pause the video and work it out. The Uber driver's median is 245 pounds. And the black cab's median is 260 pounds. So there we have median. Simply remember, median, middle. To learn about the mean and the mode, watch these videos. And to learn when the median is preferable to calculating the mean, watch this video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fuseco app as well? Until